Where was your favorite classroom? In a modern structure with large windows and desk in a circle? Or in an old brick building with long rows of wooden desks? My bet is that your favorite classroom was in the great outdoors. In this episode, Exploring North Carolina will demonstrate the magic of nature's classroom with the help of an innovative program from Western North Carolina called Muddy Sneakers. In recent years, there has been great concern among American educators because test results have shown that our students have fallen behind those of many nations in both math and science. There is no shortage of new programs to help our children learn. Smart Start, Head Start, and more at four. But what makes Muddy Sneakers a unique concept? Certainly the most fun for me was getting to ask the fifth graders what they had learned outdoors. Whenever you're in a classroom and you're learning about a new plant, well, you only get to see pictures of it or like go on the internet and look at like information about it but when you're outside, you can actually touch the plant and see it like firsthand. You, like whenever you're in a classroom, you can easily get bored just by sitting, just and looking at the teacher all day, but when you're outside, you can, you feel like more free and like not, like, the, like everyone's listening to you. Well, if you're outdoors, you can, it's, it's hard to be in a classroom and understand everything because all you have is pictures and if all you look at is pictures all day long you don't ex you don't experience like you could while you're outside because you get to you get to live it firsthand well we saw a uh, one of the things is like lizards and salamanders because we caught one on a leaf the on our last muddy sneakers trip there was a red F and it it was kind of weird because it was all crumpled up but we, and we thought it was dead and just a, and when we stopped to learn about it, it, it got up and it started crawling around on the leaf so we had to put it in the forest. And then later we came by a, near, by a stream and, went, and, we, and we thought we should have put it near there so it could get some water. Well, when we're in the classroom, you don't have much space for your thoughts because you're in a confined space. But when you're outdoors, you have so much room and just it's very enjoyable because you can actually feel the nature around you. Well, like the air, and you can also hear the nature too, and you can hear birds and trees and winds blowing. And in the classroom, all you can hear is people sniffling and moving around, and it's just, outside it's so beautiful and everything. Well, I think of science as a song, because I love to sing. And I'll probably, when, if I'm a music teacher and I'm writing music or something, I'll probably spend a lot of time outside because, like, Nature is just like a song, like I said, is just, it's, no other song can match up to it. I like that in the classroom, you don't get any attention from the teacher yourself. She's always helping other people, and you don't get any attention from the teacher. Now outside, muddy sneakers, you get to spend quality time with your instructors, and you get to learn more because we're in smaller groups. Instead of groups of 20 or 22, you're in groups of like five, six, seven, eight. Well, the biggest wow moment was probably at the side seeing a copperhead, but and it just slithered on past. Well, he said, well, they pretty much said that um, he has a perfect place to raise his kids and all that, and they do so good because there's a bunch of little animals that it can catch and eat off of. Well, it helps because if we were learning about a specific tree just in a regular old classroom in school, we couldn't see it for on, on first hand, but if we do it outside, we could see it on first hand. Like one time on my first Marty Sneakers trip, um, we seen sassafras and its roots was made to make root beer.
good morning. My name is Claire Griffin, and I'm excited to be here with you today to share with you the experience I've had, the fun I've had, and what I've learned on Muddy Sneakers. Before Muddy Sneakers, science was not my favorite subject. I didn't enjoy learning science through reading science books, taking notes, or listening to the teacher give a lecture. I thought science was boring. But in Muddy Sneakers, I enjoyed learning science using my five senses. One example of using my five senses was the time we tasted sourwood leaves. Our instructor told us that deer eat sourwood leaves as one of their main foods in their diet. He let us taste the sourwood leaves, and when we tasted them, they were bitter and prickly on our tongues. We asked him, how did the deer stand to eat these bare and prickly leaves every single day. <clears throat> and he told us that deer have taste buds just like us, but theirs have to adapt and become tough in order to stand to eat the sourwood leaves. Another example was the time when we saw an ordinary log. But as we looked deeper, we saw that it was crawling with bugs, mites, grubs, and worms. These insects are all part of the FBI. The FBI stands for fungus, bacteria, and insects. <laughs> the FBI breaks down dead animal and plant matter to make minerals and soil so that new plants can grow. These insects in this log were helping a new plant grow. <clears throat> I enjoyed learning science through muddy sneakers because everything we saw or heard or felt or tasted or smelled became a lesson. In the topics like physics or landforms or water cycle or plants and animals or ecosystems. Another skill that Muddy Sneakers has taught us is problem solving. Every year fifth graders have to take an end of grade science test. A passing grade is 70% or higher. You must make a 70% or higher to be promoted to the sixth grade. After being in Muddy Sneakers, I and some other classmates scored a perfect score on the science EOG. My teachers were so excited because every fifth grade student at my school scored an 85% or higher. There were questions on the test that I found that I did not know. And I used the facts that I had learned in Muddy Sneakers, and it helped me problem solve and get the correct answer. One more fun memory that I want to share with you from Muddy Sneakers is at the beginning of the year, our teachers asked us if we would rather have a $20 bill or be able to learn Muddy Sneakers with, or be able to learn science with Muddy Sneakers. Everyone, including me, chose the $20 bill. <laughs> but at the end of the year, we were asked the same question, would we rather have a $20 bill or be able to learn science in Muddy Sneakers? And everybody, including me, chose Muddy Sneakers. Thank you. everybody, my name is Weston Wimmer. I'm an 11 year old 6th grade student at Rosman Middle School, part of Transylvania County Public School System. I live on a farm and have been around nature my entire life. And today I want to share with you a learning experience I've recently enjoyed. But before I do, please take a brief moment to ponder the beautiful area we are in today, the Couture region. In the Couture region, one can find about 250 waterfalls, rivers full of trout, Forests that reach miles and miles. Mountaintops have the same climate as places a thousand miles north of here. Over a hundred thousand varieties of plants and animals and endless natural beauties. What an amazing place and when used as a classroom, what an awesome way to learn. This is what I'm here to share with you. Last year and over the summer, I had the privilege of being one of the many participants in a program called Muddy Sneakers. There, we hiked deep into the forest. We even got to see the food chain in action. 
with fish catching bugs for their lunch, followed by bald eagles and kingfishers then swoop down and eat the fish. We learn the importance of taking care of God's creations by respecting Mother Nature. Later, I got to continue this experience with a Muddy Sneakers camp hosted by the Southern Highlands Reserve. There, we saw rare flowers and animals that only grow and live in a few spots in the entire world. We even got to learn about the Northern Carolina Flying Squirrel. My imagination worked overtime as I tried to discover the secrets held tight by Mother Nature. I even got to help design an outdoor kids' classroom that will be used to teach science, history of the region, and most importantly, stewardship. This will be a great way for kids who rarely get to visit the forest to finally have a chance to. Thank you.